I'm a Jesus kid, I'm a Jesus kid. I believe the good news, so I'm a Jesus kid. A Jesus kid. All right, so uh, as we um, are talking about Jesus Kids Club, um, let's just, just kind of lay it out. Like, what what is Jesus Kids Club? Yeah, so Jesus Kids Club is, if you were to combine the ideas of a monthly subscription box yeah. with a family discipleship tool, yeah. with a fun club that yeah. a kid gets to be a part of. It's, a, it's kind of a three-part mm. thing that um, every month in your box, there's going to be different prompts and things for you to do as a family. Yeah. Those categories are, there's a Bible reading component, there's a memorization component, yeah. there is a, a hands-on activity or maybe a couple that are available for use. Um, and then I think that's the main ideas. And then we're using, this year, uh, we have a vision of using other songs and other resources, but this year we're using the springboard of the whole idea from the Shylin album, Jesus Kids album. And so we've got recommended songs and things mm -hmm. to help supplement and to tie together yeah. the curriculum that we're teaching you. And so um, there is, in the Bible reading portion, we are, for our elementary age kids, we're going to be walking through the book of Mark. They're first going to be this the first month walking through the stories of Jesus interacting with children to yeah. lay a foundation and to show them the heart of Jesus for them. For kids, yeah. Absolutely. And so then after that, the kids, the elementary kids will start a journey of reading through the book of Mark. And then preschool kids will read through the big picture story Bible yeah. um, because we feel like there's two different goals that are needed with yeah. those two sets of children. I think our preschoolers need to develop the framework of the big picture of scripture. Absolutely. They need to understand um, just the God's plan of redemption and creation yeah. to revelation, like where we're the story of God. with story of God. Yeah. And so I, but I think that elementary school have really understood that and have, have grown. And I think that they need to see Jesus. Yeah. They need to understand who he is and their character. Yeah. And so our theme for kids ministry this year is learn and love. And so we are wanting them to learn about God and learn about Jesus, mm -hmm. and then love Him. Yeah, As we absolutely. think about delight, declare, display, we are focusing really heavily this year on the delight portion. Yeah. Um, and so they'll have their Bible reading plan. We'll have some coloring pages. We'll have some supplemental hands-on activities to help um, for parents. Then there will be some memory challenges um, that will coincide with songs. That'll be fun to pull out and use and work throughout the month on. Um, and then we will have a, a Zoom meeting once a month that kids will have some type of simple lesson and fun interactive things. And we're going to be bringing in different church members to be a part of that. Um, but then they will also get to report and show off yeah. what they've done. And it's an opportunity for them to build community with older people in our church but also among themselves because right now, um, just because of the pandemic, we're all spread out and this is an opportunity for them to celebrate Jesus, walk with him and, and enjoy community. Do it do it with, with their peers, with, do it with their other peers. kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I love that description that it's a uh, monthly subscription box. We, we want to put this in your hands. Uh, we, we know the busyness of life and we want to put these resources in your hands on a monthly basis that, that you can utilize them in the flow uh, of your month. Um, oh, it and, might be worth noting, it's not something you pay for. TCC is paying absolutely. for it. It's not a subscription box like you That have, you're paying yeah. for, but that you're receiving. Yeah. Um, and, and and then it's a, it's a tool. Uh, it's a tool for family discipleship. It's a tool to teach uh, your kids about who Jesus is and what it means to know him and follow him. It, it, you know, we, we've, we've walked through a lot of different family discipleship tools from the stuff we bought online to just saying, forget it, we're just going to read the Bible straight through together, you know, and uh, we don't get out of like Genesis chapter 4, you know, or uh, out of the, you know, uh, birth narrative in the Gospels. And, and we've walked through some of those challenges, and it's really helpful to have something that um, that's accessible, um, that helps you as a parent, and, and that uh, our desire is that it's really fun and engaging for kids. Um, and so, uh, and, and then to, to also do that in a way where kids get to be a part of it with other kids. It's a tool in your family, but it's also a tool that kids are seeing what it means to, to, to learn about and love Jesus with other kids. Uh, that's really the vision that we want to create, uh, the, uh, the environment that we want to create within uh, TCC Kids and within our families. And so, um, what about how this fits in. Maybe maybe somebody, uh, maybe there's a family who doesn't have a regular rhythm of family discipleship. 
Um, and or somebody who is doing some type of family discipleship, how does Jesus Kids Club fit into that? Is it going to be overwhelming, uh, or is it going to crowd out some other you know tool that you're using? How how do we uh, look at Jesus Kids Club uh, on that level for families? Yeah, so it's intended to be that it would just be a one day a week commitment for the the Bible reading plan. Yeah. So you will in your notebook or in your box every. Um, every month, you're gonna get a starter kit that will have a binder for you that you'll put everything in, but every month in your box, you're gonna get your new binder pages, your new Bible stories, and there's just um, one per week that has the passage with, you know, the passage that you're reading with a brief paragraph summary, and then a few discussion questions that we've thought of that we wanna provide to you, but it's not necessarily, you can take it and do however you want, Um, but it's really just supposed to be a, I mean, 10 to, 20 minute max like bible lesson once, once a, a week. week yeah um and then the the supplemental activities are to help build t- to you know spend your time doing different things yeah yeah so like when you are looking for a craft to do with your kids oh look we've already got one and it actually reinforces the lesson that we're Talk talking about, about. You, like yeah discuss you know when um you need to throw on a YouTube video for, you know, just the crazy dinner hour. Well, mm-hmm. you could throw on this and it would actually add to the synergy of what you're teaching in another way. Yeah. And so the other things, the other components are to fuel and be easy to weave into your daily life. It's actually building on that Deuteronomy 6 idea that whatever it's you can, what, whenever you can, however you talk about it all yeah, the time. Absolutely. But it's not like you have to talk about it all the time, you know? So for someone who's never done family discipleship before, never even thought about this idea, it's just saying, hey, just just one one night a week, just try this simple lesson and open up the Bible together. Um, For someone who says, yeah, that's awesome, but I've already committed to X, Y, or Z, I'm saying, that's amazing. Keep working through that. And especially if you're even homeschooling and you have your Bible curriculum or like whatever, that's awesome. But do this one night a week to be with what uh, be with your church, to be yeah. shepherded by your church for your kids to be learning alongside Absolutely. others, and it won't take away from what you're doing yeah. as well. It's really trying to create something that uh, can draw our church together. So whether you haven't been doing anything and you've wanted to start but haven't known where to start, or you are doing something and yet love the idea of being a part of something with your church, this is a really um, approachable and accessible yeah. uh, tool for families, and it allows us as a church to to really move towards a common goal of, of TCC partnering with parents to make disciples in the home and 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 in doing so it also provides us even as parents a sense of community and encouragement accountability as we're seeking to do this together um, and and as we mentioned it, it provides that sense of community and excitement for kids so that that this isn't just what we're doing at home but uh, we're a part of something bigger that God's doing uh, a Jesus kids club of, of kids who love Jesus and are seeking to follow him and uh, and I think as we do that that helps us as a church uh, to be faithful to the mission that God's given us uh, as we think about multiplying disciples uh, we we love our community and we love uh, our country and the nations uh, and yet we also want to begin with our nearest little neighbors mm-hmm. uh, in our home uh, and so uh, I, I think that it's it's helping put a meaningful uh, accessible tool in the in the hands of parents so that's exciting and fun for kids uh, that helps us to move towards this common goal of, of making disciples in the home. And I'm really excited uh, for, for, what, um, for what God does through that in the lives of our kids. Can I ask one more question Absolutely. I've thought about since we were talking? I thought that there might be some people who maybe straddle um, different age pockets. They have yeah. preschoolers and they have elementary aged kids. Yeah. And so you're like, oh my gosh, do I read the... Which one do I read? Which one do I do? Yeah. And that's kind of your choice. You yeah. know, if it's easier for your family at the dinner table to all read the book of Mark and you've got preschoolers and you can't read that separate, that's fine. Yeah. You know, if you find yourself at bedtime, you know, at dinner or however you figure out your time and place, like you figure out what's best for that setting. And if you want to press into your one elementary kid, you know, later by reading that book one on one with them, or if you want to at bedtime read that to your baby, your preschooler, like yeah. you can do it however it works. But we're trying to make it to this that it is um, like a con- uh, there's continuity. I can't even get the right word out. There's continuity for parents that yeah. if they have they're straddling multiple ages, there's attainable goals for the littles. Yeah. 
but they're not like, oh, there's a whole different program yeah. for the littles. Yeah. Um, so they're scalable, and then as a parent, you can decide what to do. And we'll have a little monthly progress chart that they can track their progress, Absolutely. but we're going to allow you the privilege of deciding what is progress, you know? So we're not going to say, we're going to have little goals, but you can give them the stamp when you feel like it's ready to go yeah. on the stamp, yeah. you know? Absolutely. And if you don't do all the stamps, who cares, you know? Yeah. We're just, it's a tool to serve you. That's a, that's a great point. And uh, I think we're, there'll be another video that we, uh, we put out that, that really kind of walks through how to how, how to, how to make the this. most of the Jesus Kids yeah. Club, and we can tackle some of those questions. And I look forward to that, too. Yeah. A Jesus kid, I'm a Jesus kid. I believe the good news, so I'm a Jesus kid. A Jesus kid, I'm a Jesus kid. God can use me, too, because I'm a Jesus kid.